Welcome to Game Show, easy, powerful game streaming software. Take a few minutes to learn how to get started with Game Show. When you first open Game Show, you will be prompted to choose from one of several ways to start your broadcast. You can build your own or use a pre made template. If you want to build your own, you can start with a blank document from which you can fully customize your stream, a game document to stream just your game, or a game and camera document which will also incorporate your webcam. If you want to skip building your own template, we have some pre-made templates for popular games. I'm going to choose the Grand Theft Auto template to get started. In this window, spend a bit of time configuring your template. Choose between Twitch or YouTube as broadcast destinations. And if you're using a blank document, make sure to include an accurate game title so you can be discovered. Everything here looks good to me, but I'm going to switch my camera and my microphone to external USB devices. Within the Game Show interface, you will see a preview window where you can develop your shots from behind the scenes, a live window, and three master layers where you can set up your shots or scenes. If you are using a pre-made template like this one, you will have all of your different shots or scenes pre-built onto layer 2, and Game Show will have already detected and inserted your game into each shot. While there is no correct way to set up your layers, it is important to keep in mind that each layer will overlay the layers below it. For example, whatever is on the topmost layer will be shown above all other elements. The same goes for layers within shots. If I want to customize a specific shot or scene, all I need to do is double click the shot to open the shot editor to enable dynamic editing. From here I can interact with each element. You can see that if I move the Grand Theft Auto shot above my camera, my camera shot will disappear. To edit any specific element within a shot, simply highlight it in the Shot Layers menu or click it in the preview window. You can then adjust its physical properties like Scale, Crop, and Audio in the Shot Layer Properties menu or by clicking and dragging it around the preview window. You can key out your background when using a green screen with chroma key properties and in the last menu, you can adjust source specific properties. For example, when my camera is highlighted, I can adjust its video settings as well as frames per second. But when I select my social media handle widget, I can adjust the text that appears within the box. There's also the option to add Twitch widgets associated with your Twitch Gamer ID. In the Shot Layers window, click the plus button and hover over the Twitch Widgets option and choose the widget to include. This will open a window where you can customize your widget. You can then interact with the widget just like any other element within your shot. Once you have set up your shots, send your new edited shot live using the Go Live button. Click the Stream button to go live to your followers. You can also record a video of your gameplay by clicking the Record button. If you need to take a break at any time, just send your Be Right Back screen live. Now that we have finished a couple simple steps, you are now ready to stream live to your followers. Game Show. Make streams worth watching.